Hello folks, this is Rich Burdess from Datacom Crushich, New Zealand. Just giving a quick overview of an extension to this app that will allow you to change its color theme um, very easily. So, as we know, most Power Apps, you can select from several themes that, that come prepackaged with the app. Um, but it gets a bit tricky if you want to make your own changes, right? So you can change your, your various um, shapes or controls you put into an app. Um, but then you've got to remember to change all the ones you're adding again and again and again to make sure they all match, right? So why not figure out another way to do it? So what we've done here is create an admin console which allows you to pick from some pre-canned um, themes that might exist um, and then or select your own RGB uh, values and you'll see what they look like. So if we switch over to, let's go, the grayish kind of color, um, then I can copy these these controls from this page into my app, right? So I don't have to change anything as I go. Um, but if I don't quite like that color, I might fix that to something different. Let's try that. It's looking pretty good. And then I can save that. And that will patch it back to um, a data source. And then that can be used as a variable um, throughout the app on start or during the app on visible so that it knows um, what's happened and changed. So here we are with our app. We just changed it. We've got a nice little shade of pink going on um, and that'll go through to all my pages. So I'm looking pretty awesome with its its pinkness. Um, and again, we haven't made it so we changed the menu because we need that to look in a certain way. But yeah, yeah it will present pretty good and I can still change um, all the, the various elements of the app that we already had before. So on day one, um, I can go back and I can change my picture again if I want to change my picture again. So I can change it from Darth Maul to something else. That all still works. But yeah, back on the home screen. Jump back into admin now. So based on the user, we'll see the admin control. Um, and then we can go back to a, a more of a blue um, and then save that. And that just patches, yeah, back to the data source, grabbing the RGB values. Um, and then away we go. Now to show how some of that works. Um, I'll jump back. So to show you how these these prepackaged themes work, um, let's jump back to the home page and show you the on start. Yep. All right. So this is the on start action, which hopefully you can see. But let's go down a bit. There's a few actions that happen, but there we go. I can create a collection. I can call my RGB values. Don't worry about the hex ones because I was messing with them and I didn't really need them in the end. But the scheme number is important because on load I set my scheme, my theme, to be number one. Um, and then if I make a change, um, number one calls the data source with the actual saved um, color scheme. Um, but, but if I'm going through my app, um, I can select any of these pre-canned ones or a, a brand new one. Um, and then that will replace number one if I click save. So that's how we're doing that. Um, and then to show you how this sort of feature works. So can't quite see them, but if I select the on fill or the fill color, I'm using a variable basically. So I change one item in my app and then that updates everything based on that. Or if I want a 90% gradient, I've got another variable, which is the 90, um, it's a shape. Um, with a fill of that shape, but that's the shape I've got, which is 90% um, transparency on that side. Um, so yeah, just to roll back through that app, we can just jump in, make changes. Let's go orange. Does that? We'll patch back to the data source. The app um, retains the changes. So if I close the app, reopen the app, it's all done. Makes it a lot easier if you're building an app for somebody. Um, and then they decide they want to change your color. Um, or you get um, acquired by another organization and you need to go from blue to orange. This one's a really easy way to fix it. Um, but I hope that's been helpful. Um, just a quick guide of what, what we you can do with Power Apps um, by creating your own variables, um, your own collections, and your own color themes. Thanks very much.